Hey ladies, we are expecting a blizzard. Okay, so we are expecting a blizzard. We have a blizzard watch um, for Friday late evening and tonight um, into Saturday. So I stopped by Harris Teeter and of course it was crowded, but I did pick up a few things. I spent $80.74, grabbed a pot roast. Um, surprisingly, they were half the price they were just Monday or Sunday when I went in there. So I picked up a pot roast for $10.73, a boneless chuck roast, and our usual Italian ranch and brown gravy to season it in the crock pot. Picked up this um, bag and season for pork chops. I have a pack of boneless pork chops, so I want to give this a try. And this is basically a um, cooking bag with the seasoning um, inside. Picked up the Sharwoods Tikka Masala. This was buy one get one free, so I got two jars for $3.99. And this is the medium heat, so I'm hoping it won't be too much for us, but we're going to give that a try. And this time around I picked up chicken thigh fillets, Purdue boneless uh, skinless chicken thigh fillets to uh, cook the Tikka Masala. Picked up some corn and broccoli to go with the pot roast. Thomas's English muffins were buy one get one free, so I picked up those for breakfast. Picked up another loaf of bread, the Need for Seed by Cobblestone. Picked up some croutons and of course um, spring mix salad. Cucumbers were two for four. Uh, I got a couple avocados just to snack on as soon as they ripe. Picked up some boar's head sweet sliced ham. A pound of it was $11.32. And some boar's head Vermont cheddar cheese so we can make sandwiches. Picked up a couple Granny Smith apples. Some jasmine rice to go with the tikka masala and the uh, pot roast. And of course a gallon of milk for uh, the four boxes of cereal that I did buy on Sunday. So that is our haul. Not a lot, but it will give us some meals and some lunch meat for uh, lunches for the next few days as we see where this storm takes us. Okay, we're going to give ladies. this bag and season a try. I'm going to put these in the oven for this evening. It is the pork chop cooking bag and seasoning packet. I have four uh, boneless pork chops, so I'm going to go ahead and Get those in the cooking bag, add this seasoning packet, and get them in the oven. So we're going to preheat the oven to 350 and arrange this cooking bag in this baking dish. I know this isn't 13 by 9, but I think we'll be fine. I only have four pork chops. And uh, we are going to sprinkle the seasoning mix on both sides of the pork chop. Place in a single layer in the bag and then pour some water over the pork chops. Close the bag loosely. Cut four small holes in the top of the bag and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. Okay, so our boneless pork chops are in the cooking bag with the seasoned uh, mix on them and one cup of water. We sealed the bag, we poked four small holes. We're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. 